J Feather SLX 18 SRB here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And at the time of this filming, this is a bit of a newer model, but it is going to be popular. I can pretty much guarantee that because in our other lightweight brands that we carry here, we've seen similar floor plans that have always been crowd favorites. Because this is an ideal couples camper. If you're just a couple that likes to jet set around and do a lot of traveling or just camp casually a little bit here, a little bit there throughout the year, this is the trailer for you. It gives you just enough space for those quick weekend trips so that you're not towing a big heavy trailer. This thing, as it is built, comes in at uh, just, and I mean like, maybe six pounds over 3,400, so basically anything can tow this. If you don't want to upgrade to a big expensive truck, you want to keep the family SUV, this is your perfect rig. Now what's awesome, even though this is Jayco's smaller seven wide series as opposed to the full eight foot wide bodies, this is still built the same way. It's just smaller. All the same features and construction go in it. That's why it still has twice the warranty of anything in its class, and that's impressive enough. Now. What I mean by that is a lot of lightweight trailers, you can walk up the fiberglass skin, you can knock on it, it feels nice and solid. Walk over to the side walls and do the same thing. These are nice and laminated. When they're laminated, they're more structural, they hold their shape better, and they insulate better. Now, the rear wall, the front wall, the floor, they're all built that same way. This does have a wood truss roof, but it is built with Jayco's Magnum Truss Style Roofing, which holds, I think, 50% more than anything else in this class. So, uh, you know, the, uh, the lamination versus wood frame doesn't denote uh, lesser or greater quality, it's just different construction. Laminated construction on your sidewalls can keep the weight down. You know, you can get more cubic foot of trailer per pound with an ultralight, and that's what you're buying is space per pound. Um, notice too, we still have some nicer things on here, like a, uh, the, the full-size downspouts, and those will help cut down on the black streaks on your trailer. Not to mention just the simple fact that this is a fiberglass skin trailer means it will clean up easily. Other nice little things to look at real quick I like to point out. This does have both aluminum wheels so you're not going to worry about steel wheels rusting. And you notice that they are a wide stance. There is a good deal of space in there. That does a couple things for you. It equalizes your load. Meaning uh, your, your trailer's balance is set a little bit better. And that's also the fact that they're spread apart. Um, I guess if you put your feet really close together and someone pushes you, you'll fall over. If you spread your feet far apart and they push you, you won't fall over. That's the whole point. When you're going down the road, this is less inclined to wiggle and sway, so it will tow a little truer. Uh, there's also a full-size awning on here, which is nice. A lot of these smaller lightweights, uh, they will actually sacrifice the awning, so you don't see that failure point here. Now, another key factor, if you do any cooking inside, this vents uh, heat from the inside. It actually does vent um, from the range hood. Now, a lot of smaller trailers, and actually, you'd be surprised, a lot of big, expensive fifth wheels don't do that. Um, I don't know offhand the name of this color scheme, by the way. It's a, it's a, uh, like a light brown sofa. The way the light is hitting the camera, it's looking almost greenish. So, again, that's the difference between seeing them in person and seeing them in the pictures. I go... Uh, you know, pretty far and above what most dealerships will offer with some pretty in-depth photo tours as well as these full video tours like this. But seeing is believing. It is different once you see them. Stuff like this overhead storage here doesn't look really impressive in this video. When you get here in person, you realize it goes clear up to your elbow. It actually is nice. And notice things too, like they're using the nicer metal struts on these overhead doors as opposed to plastic struts. But, I mean, even plastic struts are an upgrade from what most manufacturers give you in their smaller brands. A lot of them don't give you anything to hold those doors up, so you have to juggle it open with your head. Now, a lot of these compact trailers, uh, they will shorten up the interior height. Now, you can see here I'm 6'3", uh, with some boots on right now, and I still have plenty of room above my head. I'm not worried about hitting my head on light fixtures or anything like that. Um, it's just very natural and organic the way I can walk around in here. Other nice little things to point out where this differs from others in its class, all LED lights. You don't have to worry about replacing incandescent bulbs. They're not going to burn out on you. They're also cooler. They don't produce heat like uh, incandescent bulbs, and they're easier on your battery. They're just better all the way around. But they cost a couple cents more, so some manufacturers won't use them. Uh, things like the, uh, the nicer window shades here. See that this has pleated nightshades. It does not have day and nightshades because these are UV tinted windows, kind of like automotive tint. I can see out of them, but you can't see into them. Like for instance, uh, if, you, if you look over here, it's a lot harder to look in that window than it is to look out of it. Same concept, so it gives you privacy. Now, in front of the bed here, first of all, we do have a full front uh, bed, which is nice. So you don't have to, you know, you don't have to fold down a dinette every night. You just 
walk in, sleep. What's nice too is during the day, you could sit on the edge of this bed, kind of just like another sofa. That would actually be the perfect spot for a little fold-away table. But you have windows on both sides of the bed, as well as a vent here in the living room, and other big windows here in the living room, such as this one, that all open for ventilation. So if you don't want to run the air conditioner, you do get good ventilation in here. Another thing to point out is both sides of the bed do have power outlets down here, so that uh, if you have, like phone chargers or CPAP machines or anything like that, you're all set. Um, now, a lot of these small campers, you have nothing in the way of kitchen storage, but you see that they did work in a really nice little pantry space here. And it's not huge, and this one can double as a pantry or a wardrobe, depending on what you want, but it's enough. It's enough for running away for a weekend and just taking a break from the routine. Now, the entire area under the sink here is all pure storage, and that is awesome. There's actually a, a third one of these cabinets over here. So, I mean, just it, that gives you uh, an immense amount of storage space for big stuff over time. Now, they did leave you uh, big blank spots here of extra counter space so you can actually prepare food and whatnot. Um, more storage up here above the sink area. That's probably where you can you know, put your cereals and stuff up there. Now, this is interesting. A lot of these smaller campers won't give you a microwave. Um, I have actually seen some where they do give you a microwave, but it isn't bracketed into the trailer. I couldn't believe that. It literally just bounces around. And if you go over some railroad tracks or a speed bump, I could easily see a non-bracketed microwave falling out onto the floor, and then you're going to be faced with a repair bill, you know? Um, now, the way that they give you this pantry over here is because they moved the refrigerator to this back corner, which was just a brilliant design move. Um, this is a... What was that? Five cubic? It looks like five cubic foot refrigerator. It does have its own little freezer pocket in here, so you can bring along some popsicles, you know, for a grandkid or something like that. But by keeping the five cubic foot fridge, they left this bank open up here. Now, back here, you're seeing both your stereo. You have a nice little shelf here with a power outlet, by the way, so you do have the perfect spot to charge your phone. You could keep your phone sitting here charging. You could be sitting outside in a uh, lawn chair and you could hear your phone ring and never miss a call. That's pretty cool. Now, another difference here is uh, air conditioning in small campers like this is usually an option. When you do pay more money to get it added in, you get a 5,000 BTU AC unit. Jayco standard, meaning you don't have to pay extra, gives you an 8,000 BTU, 60% more powerful. That's a big deal. You know, when it's uh, 100 plus degrees in the sun, and you're, you're going to want the extra cooling power. This is a very big deal. That is a huge factor to talk about. Um, another thing is the fact that you have both the, uh, the vent up here as well as a skylight in the bathroom. A lot of manufacturers will cheat and cut the corner and just put this vent over the shower, and you don't get as much light in the bathroom. And you don't usually want a lot of electricity running in the bathroom for obvious reasons. There's water in here. Um, very simple bathroom, but again, on a little seven-wide trailer, it gets the job done. And again, this has double the warranty of anything else in its class. I love talking about that because there's just nothing else that can really match it. You have good floor space here so that if someone is standing at the kitchen cooking, you don't have to bump into them and do the travel trailer shuffle to get around. So, I mean, all in all, this is a dynamite trailer. Give us a call. Learn more at 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Go have some fun.